I don't mean to encapsulate everybody here, but most dudes play Tarkov for the guns. You know what I'm saying? You've noticed them, I've noticed them. When you think of Tarkov like mains, people that just play Tarkov, you think of the gun dudes. You know what I'm talking about? That's not why I like Tarkov. I'm in it for a different reason. I'm in it for the food. Here I have uh, all the food from Tarkov and I'm gonna be taste testing it, showing you guys the real life food of Tarkov. This episode is brought to you by Opera GX, the completely customizable browser. I know you guys remember the highlights from last time. You got the CPU, RAM limiter, Twitch, Spotify, Discord integration. Well, that ain't all of it, all right? Opera GX also supports all your favorite messaging apps, as well as custom animated wallpapers. Oh, what's that? You don't want to move from Chrome because you're going to lose all your little extensions. You can add all of those to Opera GX. It supports them. Uh, what? Oh, you don't want to leave Chrome because all your settings and your bookmarks. Opera GX has a quick import tool. Let me tell you something. If you become attached and you develop some sort of separation anxiety, you're afraid to leave Opera GX at your house. Don't worry. It came out with GX Mobile. That's right. You can take it with you. Check this out, you can send uh, files between browsers. Wow, now that's a feature I can get behind. So go ahead and try it out, you know? Hard scope that link in the description. Give it a shot. I'm telling you, this thing performs at a fraction of the resources that Chrome uses, as well as providing a free VPN and ad blocker. So check out the link in the description, download Opera GX. You know, uh, what do you have to lose? It's free. Plus it helps the channel. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, the, uh, the Tarkov character, your PMC, and me don't exactly share culinary tastes. You know, I've never had anchovies or sardines. And so things like this, the sprats, that might, that might, not, that might not go down so well. So uh, in the event that, you know, something's kind of choking me up, I got the uh, shelf stable milk to wash it down. First things first, I'm kind of starving. So let's go for, uh, I'm gonna go for the lunchbox. Significantly larger IRL. I thought this thing would be kind of small. You guys are probably wondering, why the heck's this guy going for the, uh, the lunchbox thing first? Well, it's because these crackers that you eat in game are what I'm going to help choke down the sprats with. I knew that they came with the crackers, and so I was thinking it might make the sprats a little bit more palatable. There's a whole lot of moving parts here, and I'm not quite smart enough for all this. This one's complicated. It's, uh, this is, um, okay. Uh, let me read the instructions. Okay. I'm gonna crack open some of the crackers. See what you guys been munching on. I thought they were gonna be more like saltines. These are some thick boy crackers. That is an incredibly dense, dry cracker. Oh my God. These crackers are making me thirsty. And I got this to, uh, because you know, the Russian army boxed milk, uh, I couldn't find any. I figured uh, boxed milk over here, the shelf-stable milk that people get for like hurricane shelters, that's a pretty good substitute. Just like milk, but really watery. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, do I have to eat this? Fucking cured meat in a jar thing, and it's basically like spam. That's like the inside of a hot dog. But wait a second, you know, imagine you're, you're stationed out in the, uh, in the farthest reaches of Siberia. You're charged with making sure people don't escape the gulag. This might be kind of a snack for you. Put a little bit on the cracker. It's all right. Out in any situation where you would be eating this, not that bad. Comparable to regular camping food. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm curious as to what the fuck's in this. Uh-uh, dude. I'm not eating that. What the fuck? It has the picture of a cow on the front, so I think it is beef, whatever it is. But besides that, I don't even... I can't even really tell you. 
Does anybody have a, a, an idea what the fuck that is? What is that? I want answers. That had, is that like an organ? That has to be like an organ or something. What the hell is this thing? Hey, <laughs> you know? <laughs> pretty, pretty. <laughs> All right, this is some like beef and gravy or something. I don't even know what the fuck that is. All right, I kind of have a predicament here. I don't know if this is fully cooked or not. I think that one was. But this one has a picture of rice with beef, and it looks great. And then you pull this back, and it's pink. I'm not eating that. I'm drawing the line there. I think that's about the highlights of this. I don't need to eat the rice. Wait, what is this? Oh, wait, there's applesauce. I got to try the applesauce, I guess. Is this applesauce? What the hell? Yo, this is, uh, this is a lot better than my fucking applesauce that I get in America. What the? <laughs> this shit's good as hell. Somebody that knows Russian, uh, tell me what this is. This is pretty good. It has a picture of an apple in the front. All right. This has gone on too long. Let's get this the hell out of the way. Sprats. This is what I've been, uh, this is what I've been dreading. Sprats and oil. I looked up what sprats were. Uh, they're basically just uh, little sardine things. And I think this is the exact, one of the few ones that I have, it's the exact can that's in the game or as close as you can get to it. Oh my God. Okay. Um, it's a little fish with its head cut off. It smells really smoky, actually. I was thinking it was gonna be like this unbearable fishy smell, but it's not bad. Not a bad smell. Dude, is, do I eat the tail? Oh. I was expecting, you know what I was expecting? I know the bones and everything are still in here. I was expecting, bite into this thing, and just, you just, it feels like you're a giant eating a small person. It's just crunch, crunch, crunch. This is very pleasant. As far as I'm concerned, I don't even think they have bones. Boneless creatures. Wash this down with some milk. Mm. You know what? I'm going to try one. Once again, the whole reason I brought the crackers out from the MRE was this stuff. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do one here. Fish one out here. Put it on the cracker jack. It doesn't get much better than that. Oh, yeah. This ain't bad. And I'm gonna tell you something. You put all this money into buying nice bullets for your guns. You put all this money into, uh, oh, nice backpack. 400,000 for a pair of pants from Ragman. I'm telling you something, dude. You need to start taking better care of your PMC. Because if you give them a pack of crackers and some sprats, <laughs> baby, that's just good eating. Mmm. <laughs> Yo, fuck the box. I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to fucking do this up the way I feel. You know what I'm saying? This is a gourmet meal. Dude, unironically, I know I got a lot of food to eat here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do up another cracker because it might not get better than this. Damn. And who knew? I never knew I was a, a sardine, sprats, anchovy guy. Start thinking about your PMC, you know? Get them a nice carton of milk. Bring out some rigor sprats, some crackers. Put the same thought into feeding your PMC that you would think into your PMC's gun. He's a person, give him something good to eat. I'll save these for later. Next on the agenda is Tashanka. Now, I was able to find the large Tashanka can, the one that's in the game, the giant delicious stew or whatever. Every time I would order it, the people that ran the store would look and see that they had to ship uh, an $11 can of beef stew all the way to America for like $45. <laughs> and so they declined it every time. But I was able to find the small can. All right, so this is a can of what's supposed to be beef stew. And it's uh, really cold. I would love to heat this up, but we're in the world of Tarkov, so I have to make do. It's got like a bay leaf on top. 
Yeah, it's a bay leaf. Then a very large hunk of meat down in here. Oh my. Okay, I went real deep in there for this one. <laughs> I don't know about this one, buddy. <laughs> I'm sure if this thing was heated up, it would be all sorts of delicious. That is a, uh, that is a pretty disgusting piece of, um, of food there. It's like a beef knuckle or something. There's this huge vein of fat here. You can't tell me, oh my God, this is without a doubt a cow like kneecap. There is so much cartilage right here. That is totally like a joint. There has, is there bone in there? That's disgusting. Next on the list, we have two types of uh, rye croutons. I think there's the Amelia, and then there's just croutons, is what they're called. And I believe they're the same thing. One of them in game, as far as I can tell, I think is the, it's horseradish and something else. And I was able to track that one down. That's what this one is. They're just like little square, little munchy croutons. Honestly, not a bad snack. He's got some kick to him, though. Might want to wash this one down with some milk. But uh, this is Pacific Ocean Canned Soury. This is like the only one I could find. And this is like a new label and everything. But the, the other one I couldn't find. But this is the fish, at least. Uh, that doesn't look good. So compared to the game, the, the, the liquid is much darker and there's a whole lot more of it. But <clears throat> for the most part, Spot on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. This is very tuna-like. I could smell, I've never had a soury before. This is very tuna-like. Smells just like tuna. Is this tuna? Is this just another name for tuna? Yeah, that tastes exactly like tuna. Is this just tuna? Is a soury the same thing as a tuna? This is definitely kind of a cracker type fish, I think. <clears throat> I'm not talking like, you know, like Russian people are crackers, you know, like, like, the, like the slur, like the insult. I'm talking like this is something I'd, which they, you know, they are. Let's be honest. But this is more of a cracker type food. That's not bad, baby. You can hear what it tastes like. Like this. Is that good? All right, yeah. Sourie's kind of a, a slam dunk here. Once again, you know, if you're going to be courteous, you know, if you want to go out for a nice sniping uh, adventure on Tarkov, I would definitely opt to bring some crackers for your PMC because this is, I mean, it's all, if you really like fish, this is pretty good by itself. But the crackers really seal the deal. Uh, next we have, um, what's the other fish from Tarkov? There's soury. And then there's something else. It doesn't matter. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah! This is not going to be nearly as enjoyable as the soury. Oh, look at the bones. Yeah, this is pretty disgusting. Bottoms up. Do not show up to a barbecue or a family function with this as your dish. The presentation has definitely docked at some points. This might be the most disgusting looking canned food I've ever seen, besides that beef knuckle thing over there. This is the one I'm most proud of. This is the, uh, the squash spread. It took me a long time to hunt this thing down. And this one looks nothing like the one in game, but they did not manufacture the one in game anymore. Okay, so. Woo! Imagine, you know those V8 vegetable juices? It's like that, but really thick. <laughs> it's a dehydrated uh, V8 juice. I kept seeing that people would put it on like baguette slices and spread it around. And so I think that's the true way to taste it is like on, spread on some bread. This is very much just baby food. <laughs> Who would buy this much of it? 
This doesn't seem like something you could go through a jar like this of in any quick manner. This is a lot of squash spread for something that is not very good. And for that reason, you fire it. I got this just to show you guys. This is the art style of the MRE in game. And then this is the one that is the actual flavor. So this one is spaghetti with beef sauce, but the one in game is meatballs and marinara. And so I bought this one, but then got this one to show you guys that they do actually make the in game art style for the MREs. Oh my God, look in there. Okay. Christ, that was way harder than it should have been. All right, anyway, so inside, I uh, gotta keep professionalism up. I uh, didn't lose my temper there. That was called acting, dumbass. You're watching YouTube. <laughs> of course I was acting. Why would I get mad at an MRE? That's childish. All right, uh, what is this one? This is uh, mashed potatoes with garlic. And I'm doing my part to end this hatred, this beef between uh, Russia and the US. I am eating a US set of mashed potatoes with a Russian MRE spoon. That is disgusting. This feels like it's probably some sort of flatbread. Oh damn, a cookie. We'll save that for later. Dry coffee, gum, that's a laxative I think. Uh, moist towelette to wipe your ass, coffee creamer. Circling back to that cookie for a second. Oh. Italian bread sticks. Dang, this is ghetto as fuck. <laughs> If you, if you go over to someone's house and go, hey, do you want some Italian breadsticks? <clears throat> and they whip this shit out. That friendship's over, man. And this is the heat pack for making your food hot. Not gonna do that. Lame, your guy doesn't do that in game, I can assure you. So I'm just gonna hit this shit raw dog. Meatballs and marinara, baby. Here we go. This little meatball here. It's like a, it's like a, um, a SpaghettiOs with a little bit more flavor, you know? It's not bad. But the real question is, is how does it taste on an authentic Italian breadstick? You know, it's passably just, it's, it's food. You know, there's, this is honestly, besides the, uh, the sprats and crackers, not, not a bad, not a bad meal here. Bang for your buck. Not as good as the uh, Russian MRE. There was a whole lot more food in there. But their food fucking sucked, bro. This shit's got cookies. You got these ghetto breadsticks. Uh, whatever this uh, Chef Boy RD thing is. It's not bad. Maybe it's just what I'm used to. It's like a big Lunchable. This is a great way of indoctrinating kids, you know? You know, you sit there and eat Lunchables your whole school career just so that you can eat the big boy Lunchable while you're in Afghanistan, baby, yeah. That's not bad. Wash that down with some milk. Now let's take a look at this cookie. This cookie got me a little bit interested, you know, I'm all of a sudden, I'm perked up a little bit. Damn, son, it's like some sort of big ass oatmeal chocolate cookie. If you're giving your PMC an MRE, you better be packing a drink. Cause half the shit in here is dry as hell. We got a uh, condensed milk. This is the one that's in the game. Um, I don't really know what condensed milk is for. I think it's for like making cakes and stuff or like baking shit. Yeah, it's just like a yellowy milk that's been condensed. Wonder how they came up with the name for this, you know? Oh, damn. Oh, that's like sweet. What the hell? I mean, I was expecting milky, but this is like a melted candy bar. This is like uh, if you want to give your guy a diabetic coma, it's pretty potent. I've endured, and so now I get to eat Alianka. This came in a two pack, and the other one, I mean, of course, I got delivered in the middle of uh, July, and so the chocolate was all melted and shit. <laughs> this one got pretty melted too. I think this is like chocolate with hazelnut in it, you know? But yeah, that's it. That's the, that's the food of Tarkov. I missed some stuff. Some stuff I wasn't able to get, I think. 
But I got most of everything. And now you know what you're eating. And now more importantly, you know how to properly take care of your PMC by pairing good food with good drink. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you out there. Goodbye.